CIOs, CTOs, um, major um, technology companies and say, hey, what are you looking for? What do you want? Um, and you know, that helps us uh, determine where we might aim some of our, um, our um, focus. One of the reasons I can't tell you what everybody wants is, is that all of these people have told us what they want in confidence because it does reflect missing pieces in their own product architectures. Uh, so for you, the thing to do is to talk to customers early versus late. It really, you would be surprised how smart customers are today. The CTOs and CIOs are not MIS directors anymore, like they were in the 80s when I was throwing diskettes around. It was painful to talk to customers because we were trying to explain what technology did to non-technologists, to COBOL programmers, effectively. That is not the case today. Many of the CTOs and CIOs um, across industry, um, it, it, across many, many industries, the companies are driven by technology. They have smart technologists working there, smarter than, collectively smarter than all the entrepreneurs we fund. And I am always shocked today when entrepreneurs do not go out and talk to them. Even Matt and Rishi, the 20-year-olds, who wrote the prototype for Dr. Dr. Bonet's um, product idea, um, identity-based encryption, they themselves went out and got the US Navy to use this product. And they were effectively sophomores, undergrad computer science majors here at Stanford. And that's one of the reasons we were very interested in talking to that team. The reason they went and talked to a customer is they were sophomores. They said, shoot, what do we know about customers? You know, and neither one of them came from an entrepreneurial family. You know, one, was, one, one of the founders is from Florida. That's considered a different planet relative to Silicon Valley. And you know, so they went and talked to customers. You know, and so we actually, even though they'd only written a prototype, um, a, as part of the basis contest for a business plan, they went out and talked to customers. Now we took them around before we funded them and put them in a car and brought them to 20 CIOs of major financial services and healthcare companies. So these guys met with 25 people at Kaiser and you know 10 people at Wells Fargo and you know and, and we put them amongst the customers without us and then talked to the customers later and said is this something that if they really build this out to a complete platform that you would put in your budget and if so how much so this is something that you can easily do i mean it, you know we can all we all belong to some social network yet we don't talk to customers let's change that around 